Hi, welcome to my video on solving interest and commission word problems. Let's do a recall on uh, percent and decimals so we can help us work out the problems that we're going to do on the interest and commission. Recall, change percent to a decimal. Examples, change to a decimal, 6%. The decimal in the 6 is right there, so we move it two places to the left. Decimal 0, 6. 13%, the decimal is right there, so we move it two places to the left. 1, 2. So the decimal 13. 147%, the decimal is on the right, so we move it two places. So it's 1.47. 1, 2. 7.9%, the decimal is there, so we move it two places, so we go one, and we put a zero, decimal zero, seven, nine. Fifteen and a half percent is the same as 15.5%. One half is decimal five, so we move it two places to the left, so we get decimal one, five, five. Another um way we have we have these equations that we have in percent and commission we'll have decimals in them because they have percentages so uh, let's remove the decimal from the equations that's going to help us solve the problem easier multiply the equation by the most decimal places well what i mean by that if you have one decimal place one decimal then you multiply by 10. If you have two decimal places, you multiply by 100. And if you have three decimal places, you multiply by 1,000. You multiply the whole equation by 10, 100, or 1,000. Let's have a look. A, decimal 0, 07, decimal 0, 04, and 8. The 8 has a decimal there, so I have two decimal places, two decimal places, and no decimal places. So I have two decimal places, so I'm going to multiply the equation by 100. 100 times decimal 0, 7 gives you 7. When you multiply by 100, the decimal moves two places to the right. Multiply decimal 0, 4 by 100 gives me 4. When you multiply 8 by 100, it gives you 800. So notice, now you have no decimals. So that's what we're going to, I'm going to do when I do interest and commission word problems. B, I have one decimal place, I have two decimal places, and I have one decimal place. So there's two decimal places, I need to multiply by 100. Multiply by 100, 100 times decimal 2 is, moves two places, so it's 20. Moves two places, so it's 1, 4, 3. Moves two places, so it's six zero. So two places is notice one is there. You need a zero. Two places is right there. Two places you need another zero. C we have decimal twelve, decimal zero three five and forty one. Forty one has a decimal right into the right. So I have two decimal places, three decimal places. So I multiply this equation by a thousand. So 1,000 times decimal 12 is 1, 2, 0, x. Remember, it moves, if you got decimal 12, and it moves 1, 2, and one more. And you multiply decimal 0, 3, 5 by 1,000, three places. 1, 2, 3 gives you 35. And when you multiply 41 by 1,000, you get 4, 1, and three zeros because the decimal moves three places to the right. D, I have one decimal place, two decimal places, and one decimal place. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 100. So I'll have no decimals. So notice I'm multiplying every term by 100. Every term is of the equation multiplied by 1,000, etc. So 100 times 0.5 is 50. Remember, it moves two places, one and another zero. Two places is 75. It moves two places, so you need another zero. So 
So that's just a review of changing percent to a decimal and eliminating the decimal in the equation, which will make the solvent easier. Okay, let's do some examples. $20,000 invested into two accounts, one at 5% per year and the other at 4% per year. If $950 is earned in interest in one year, how much is invested in each account? So, what we'll do is we'll let X be the amount invested in the 5% account. And I'm just going to do let Y be the amount invested in 4%. Now I'm using ditto marks just to save time. That's a count. So, but probably your teacher might want you to write all this out. Now, if there's $20,000 invested in the two accounts, so that means one equation is X is the amount, Y is the other amount, and that gives me a total of $20,000 invested into two accounts and remember interest is just do a little review on interest um, interest equals principal times rate times time so if I multiply uh, the amount invested at 5% so that's 5% times the amount and it's for one year that will be the interest and if you put 4% times the amount which is y give you the interest so remember interest is the principal which is the x and the percent rate is five percent times one so that's this gives you this expression and when you add that interest together you get nine hundred and fifty dollars so what i do is i change my percent to a decimal so five percent is decimal zero five 4% is decimal 04, and I get 950. So, what I do now is I say I got two decimal places there and there, and I got 950 decimals on the right. I multiply by 100. So, 100 times decimal 05 is 5. 100 times decimal 04 is a 4. And 100 times 950 is 950. Zero, zero, zero. So now I have this equation, which I'll call number one, and I have this new equation, 5x plus 4y equals 9500. Zero, zero, zero. I'm going to call that number two. So because I have them lined up, I'm going to do elimination. So I'm going to multiply by you can multiply by the 5 or the 4, so I'm going to multiply this one by negative 4. Multiply this one by 1. So that's a 4, I want a negative 4. So that gives me negative 4x minus 4y. And negative 4 times 20,000 gives you negative 80,000. And multiplying by 1 doesn't change the second equation at all. Nine five zero zero zero. Draw a line and the y's cancel. I add, I get x, and you subtract, and you get fifteen thousand dollars. And since I have fifteen thousand, this is the best equation to sub in for. So I'm going to sub fifteen thousand dollars for x into and we're going to go into number one so we have x plus y is 15,000 or sorry x plus y is 20,000 and we're going to sub in 15,000 for x and y is 20,000 minus 15,000 so y is 5,000 and again x is uh, x is the 5% 
So the 5% account has $15,000 invested in it, and the 4% has $5,000 invested in it. Because we said X is the 5% and Y is the 4%. So the problem is done. And again, these add up to 20,000. So if you take 5% of the 15,000 and take 4% of the 5,000, add them together, you should get $950. That's the way you check. Another one. Remember, you can pause your video and work these out before I do. In June, a salesman sold $25,000 in goods. The commission off 6% on furniture and 8% on furniture was paid. The total of commissions earned was $1,700. How much of each was sold? So commissions work the same as percents, as interest. So we'll let how much of each was sold. So we'll let X be the amount Soul on furniture and the furniture member and we'll let Y be the amount sold on appliances. So remember furniture is six percent and appliances is eight percent. So all together this is the amount. So if you take the X plus the Y and add up the amounts you should get 25000 And the next equation, you get the 1700 6% times X, that's the commission on the furniture, and 8% times the Y will give you the $1,700 that the commission earned. And like we did above, let's change the percent to a decimal. 6% is decimal 6, 8% is decimal 08, and we'll multiply this equation, two decimal places, two decimal places, decimal, we'll multiply by 100, we'll get 6x plus 8y is 1700000. So let's take this as equation 1, and this is equation 2. So if I take that as it is, I can multiply this by, um, say, that's a 6 and an 8. I just multiply this equation by, without writing it down again, negative 6. So that gives me negative 6x minus 6y. And 6 times is 150 and 0, 0, 0. Write down this one below it, which is number 2. And I get, and that's a, oh, better be careful, multiplying by negative 6, so it's negative 6x, negative 6y, and a negative 15, um, 150,000. And so this is 17, 170,000. We draw a line, the x's cancel, and I get 2y is 20,000, divide by 2. And I get y equals 10,000. And the best equation to go into is number 1. So I'm going to sub 1,000, sorry, 10,000 for y into number 1. So let's write down number 1. x plus y equals 25,000. And you can see you've got 10,000 here. So you know this is quickly going to be a 15. Thou. So 10,000 goes in the place of y, 25,000. So x is equal to 25,000 minus 10,000. So x is 15,000. And so the amount invested, x is the amount in furniture. So the amount invested in the furniture, furniture if you are, is furniture is x so it's 15,000 and the amount of vest in appliances 
times is, is the uh, y, and the y is 10,000. So, if you want to check it, and the furniture, if you multiply 6% times 15,000, and 8% times 10,000, it should add up to $1,700. But remember, when you multiply the 6%, uh, you change this percent to a decimal. So the decimal is 0, 06 times 15,000, decimal is 0, 08 times 10. Together, you should get 17. That's a way of checking it quickly. Now I have two equations, two problems here that you can work out as practice. So pause the video and work these out to see if you get the answer. A person invested 100 thou into bonds and stocks. The bonds earn 3% per year. The stocks earn 2.5% per year. After one year, 28,800 is earned in interest. How much was invested in each? And again, we have to. We can use X or we can use B for bonds, whatever you want. Let X be the amount invested. And I'm going to say in bonds. And let Y be the amount invested in the stocks. So, all together, again, X plus Y is the amount. Added together should give you 100,000. And 3% of the bonds is interest. So, it's 3% times X. 2.5% times y, and it's going to give you 2,800 in interest earned. And again, you change your percent to a decimal, so decimal is 0, 3x, and plus 2%, 0.5% is decimal 0, 2, 5y. Remember, the decimal moves two places to the left, and we get 28. 2,800, and we got two decimal places, three decimal places, so I have to multiply it by a thousand in order to get this decimal all the way over. So a thousand times decimal zero three is 30, because it goes one, two, and one more zero. Multiply this by a thousand, we get 25y. And multiply 2800 by a thousand is 2800, multiply by a thousand is three more zeros. So we have equation one, and we have this new equation two. And if you want, you multiply it by, I'm gonna multiply this one by negative 25. That will eliminate the y's. I'm gonna multiply this one by one. So that gives me negative 25 times x, negative 25 times y, and Negative 25 times 100,000 gives me a negative 2, 5, and it gives me 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, five. use your calculator if you want. And this equation won't change because you're multiplying it by 1. It's 2, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Draw a line. The y's cancel and I get 5x when I add those up. And this gives me uh, 28, so it's a 3 and 5 zeros. And you divide by 5. They cancel, give me x. 5 and a 30 goes 6, and there's 4 more zeros. You can use your calculator. But when you divide 5 into 30, you get a 6 right here, and you get the 4 zeros. And we sub this, we sub 6,000 or 60,000 for x into, and the better equation is number one. So that gives me x plus y equals 100 thou. So we got 60,000 for x, 6, 0, 0, 0. And you can see works out perfect, so 100 thou, subtract 60 thou, gives you 
gives you 40,000. So, X is bonds. So the bonds, you invest X 60,000. And the stocks is the Y, so it's 40,000. And the problem is finished. And to check it, again, if you take 3% times 60,000 and take 2.5% times 40,000, you should get 2,800 if you're going to check it. And the last one, number two, and sold $500,000 worth of cars and trucks. Commission earned was 7% on cars and 8% on trucks. If $3,700 $37,000 was earned in commissions. How much was sold in each? So, let's see. We have, we're going to use, let's use, I could use X and Y, but I'm going to use, let's see, uh, be the amount sold on the cars or earned on the cars, and we let T be the amount sold that they sold on the trucks. And like before, we have the cars and the trucks add up their amounts together. We should get 500,000 or half a million. And the commission is 7% on the cars. 7% on the cars is 7% times C. 8% times T and should make 37,000. And percent to decimal is decimal 7. 8% is decimal 08. Remember I changed percent to decimal. Now I two decimal places, two decimal places, so I multiply by 100. 100 times decimal 07 is 7. 100 times decimal 08 is 8. Remember, the decimal multiplying by 100 moves two places, 1, 2. Two places, 1, 2. When we multiply this number by 100, we add on, we got 37,000 already. Multiplying by 100, we put two more decimal, two more zeros on, or you could use a calculator. This is the equation 1. And this is equation two. So if I multiply by seven, which is a smaller number, so I'm gonna multiply this equation by negative seven, this equation by one. So that gives us negative seven C minus seven T and seven times five is 35. And I got five zeros. You gotta be careful writing it down. You write this equation down because you're multiplying it by 1. So 7c plus 8t equals 3, 7, and 5 zeros. This draw a line. The c's cancel out, and I get t is, and you get 37 take away 35 is 2, and I got 5 zeros, 20,000. And we're going to sub that into number one is the easier equation. So we're going to sub 20,000 for T into. Again, one is easier because it's C plus T equals 500,000. So we put 20 in 20,000 in place of T, so C equals 20,000. 500,000, so C is 500, oh, I should say that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I got to go, uh, that's 200,000, so I got to eat five zeros, so that's another zero, so a half a million, subtract 200,000, gives 300,000, so uh, T is trucks and C is cars. So we got the trucks. We sold 
200,000. And the cars, we sold 300,000. And again, if you took the trucks and multiplied by 8%, and took the cars and multiplied by 7%, and added them up, you should get the 37,000. So that's interest or commission problem. But notice the percent, how, how it works. The percentage is invested or the amount sold is on each of the amounts and it adds up to give you interest or commissions, etc. etc. Not too hard to do, just be careful with the big numbers. If you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell. More videos are coming. And visit my website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content that's on my YouTube channel, Mad Fully Explained. Thank you very much for viewing the video. Bye-bye.